Hi, my name is Manali and I work in customer support for PMC Service Request Management. This video is going to give you an overview of how to configure target data fields in SRM. In this video, we are going to take a demo of how we can select one field such as scheduled end date in change request. We can take a field on your service request definition and the user would respond to this question and the answer selected by user would be automatically mapped to the backend change application ticket for scheduled end date. For example, on CHG infrastructure change form, we're going to take the database ID of scheduled end date. To register the form field on application, go to application administration console in service request management. Click on application configuration. First, we need to define the application field and then define the application target data. The important fields to remember are the selection type, model name, form name, menu label, menu value, and field ID and entry mode. For example, this is the record where we have selected selection type as question field mapping for model infrastructure change. The form name is CHG infrastructure change. We have selected field ID for the field scheduled end date with the data type as data type field. To define the application target data, select the registered application field for answer field ID and description. You can also select additional information. Now we will take an example of the use case we have discussed earlier. In application target data, we will define the field. In application target data, select status, register application at change management, field for answer as scheduled end date and other information. For more information on the same topic, please look upon our online documentation for defining target data for third-party application. Once the fields are defined, you can use them in your AOT. Map the same on your PDT and map to the user question's response in variable mapping. Now, when you log in and select the data for scheduled end date, the same date would be reflected in the backend change application created for this service request. Now, let's take an example on how we can do this. Open application administration console and click on custom configuration. In service request management, click on application configuration. Select define application field and click on open. Select selection type as question field mapping. Select module name as infrastructure change. Select form name as CHG infrastructure change. Select the menu label 1 as schedule start date. Select the same in menu value 1. On infrastructure change form, select the database ID of scheduled start date. Add this field in field ID and select data type as date time field. Save the changes. Now open application administration console again and click on define application target data. Select the register application, select the schedule start date and the field ID would be automatically populated. Save the changes. Now we will create an AOD for this. Now we will add this field in our AOD. Click on our target data, select the schedule start date, click on add and save the changes. Now we will create the same mapping in our PDT. Select the AOD that we have created. In define variable, create a variable for schedule start date. In map data, select the schedule start date and map it as an input. Click on apply and save the PDT. Now we will create a new SRD for it. Select the PDT that we have created. Open question and mappings and create new question as schedule start date. Select the question format as date and time. Click on apply. From variable mapping, select the question and map it to the variable. Save the changes and deploy the SRD. Now log into entry console and open the SRD to submit. Select the schedule start date and submit the SRD. In additional details, this is the user's response. In process view, the date entered by user is mapped to the schedule start date field. Open this change request, go to date system tab and you would see that the response entered by user is now directly visible in the schedule start date field. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.